Hey, hope you're all well and safe. HP have released their ProBook 450G7 to coincide with the launch by Intel of their 10th gen Comet Lake processors. Chassis stays the same from the G6, but we have 1080p IPS display option, spill resistant keyboard, and greater military standard testing. Has this popular value business laptop range done enough to stay ahead? Let's find out. <music> The G7 keeps the tried and tested plastic aluminium combo in a pike silver colour bar the black display bezels. It's a modern corporate look. The G7 is solid all around with only minimum flexing on the display cover thanks to military standard 810H testings for durability. Weight is still 2kg or 4.4 pounds and 1.9 cm thick. You wouldn't want to hold it in one hand for too long though. The solid single hinge opens all the way to 180 degrees giving the flexibility to find the optimum viewing angle for your needs. The bottom maintenance cover is fairly straightforward to open up. Seven screws, gently lift the plastic cover with a plastic spatula or suction pads to reveal the upgrade options. HP has resisted the temptation to solder on the RAM unlike some of the competition. Two DIMM slots are available along with the M.2 slot. An additional 2.5 inch bay allows you to increase your storage space with a big drive. The 45 watt hour battery is replaceable. The display on this review model is a 15.6 inch 4 HD IPS anti-glare panel. Viewing angles and contrast ratio are good as you would expect. Brightness is rated at 250 nits, fine for indoor use, but you'll find it a tussle in direct sunlight outdoors. The panel has a colour accuracy of 45% NTSC or around 53% sRGB. In other words, don't rely on this display if you need a laptop with good colour reproduction. On the left hand side there is a Kensington lock, USB 2.0 type A with power port and an SD card reader. On the right we have AC power, USB 3.1 type C gen 1 with power delivery and display port, gigabit RJ45, HDMI 1.4B, two USB 3.1 type A gen 1 ports and a headphone microphone combo. One of the updates from the G6 is the inclusion of the new Intel dual band wireless AC Wi-Fi 6 2x2 combo card with Bluetooth 5. Wireless speeds were great during testing from 5 to 30 meters away. Bluetooth coverage was reliable with a Logitech MX mouse or external speaker. The keyboard is spill resistant but doesn't have a backlit keyboard on this review model. Only the top UK model has this option if you require it. Typing is very good on the 450 G7. Plenty of travel on the keys and spread out. There's a handy full size enter key and a numeric keypad for spreadsheet or calculation work. The click pad has a comfortably large surface area to work on. The usual multi-touch gesture support is included. The integrated buttons are louder than I would like, but you get used to it. The mesh grille above the keyboard houses the stereo speakers. Audio is decent for listening to a playlist on Spotify and loud enough to listen to your colleagues talk on a Zoom meeting. The HD 720p IR webcam with integrated microphone is the usual nothing to write home about affair. Barely average quality in low light settings and just passable in good conditions. The processor found in this review model is the 10th gen Comic Lake U i7-10510U running at a base clock of 1.8GHz up to 4.9GHz with Intel Turbo Boost technology with 4 cores. TDP is rated at 15 watts. In Cinebench testing, the CPU utilizes 25 watts for 30 seconds but is limited down to 17 watts thereafter. Disappointingly, it's on par with the preceding 450G6 running at i5-8265U CPU. It's also well beaten by the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U and Geekbench 5 multi-core. The i7-10510U claws back some modesty with a good single core performance against the rising Ryzen star. 16GB of DDR4 memory and a 512GB PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD helps the G7 fly past everyday tasks like web browsing, office apps and video audio playback files. Even a spot of light workstation tasks like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro is possible. The fan comes on sometimes while idling or, or a simple task like file transferring. This can be annoying and more so as it's a throbbing sound from the fan. The laptop gets warm up to 45 Celsius when it's under load, but it's nothing to worry about if you're using the G7 on your lap. 
The review model has an integrated Intel UHD Graphics 620, which is nearly three years old since launch. The 450G7 range now includes dedicated NVIDIA GeForce MX130 or MX250 options. If you need a graphical boost, it is worth considering these two options. For example, in 3 d Mark Firestrike, the 25W MX250 is nearly 70% better than the UHD 620. Gaming with a UHD 620 is limited to old titles like Angry Birds. More modern titles like Fortnite or Asphalt Legends will struggle to play at anything more than low 720p settings. If you want to play a spot of gaming on the 450G7, go for the dedicated MX250 GPU model. The 450G7 has a 3 cell 45 watt hour battery. General web surfing, checking emails and some office apps on 50% brightness and better battery setting gave just over 8 hours battery life. On full performance battery settings, battery life with general usage came down to just under 5 hours. Fast charging is available with the HP Smart 45 watt external AC power adapter. Expect around 45% with 30 minutes charging from zero. As the ProBook range is aimed at business users, HP have a plethora of security tools. In this review model, we have Windows Hello IR authentication, fingerprint sensor, TPM security chip, and privacy webcam shutter. On the software side, there's HP Client Security Manager Gen 5 to guide you through securing your sensitive data, and HP ShortClick for malware protection, to name a couple. Top three pros and cons before buying the HP ProBook 450 G7. Good upgradability. Sometimes it's good not to follow the majority. Thank goodness HP have left the generous upgrade options alone. Up to 32GB of memory, NVMe M.2 SSD and a 2.5 inch SATA bay for secondary storage. Generous ports. It's nice to know the 450G7 comes with a trusty Ethernet RJ45 port if your Wi-Fi fails or you need more reliability. HDMI and DisplayPort options plus three USB Type-A ports. Serious about security. For a multi-purpose essential business laptop, the ProBook 450G7 is teeming with security tools, IR and fingerprint authentication, privacy shutter, TPM chip, and a boatload of security software features to keep trouble away. Weak display. One trick the G7 missed out on was a brighter and color accurate panel option. HP UK should follow the Lenovo UK customization option to give choices on what display panel to have. For example, I would pay another £60 for a 400 nit IPS instead of the weak 250 nits review model. Likewise for 100% sRGB options. Noisy fan. Even when the laptop is idle, the fan will kick in randomly. It has a pulsating audible noise when it does come in, which can be annoying to some. So and so performance. On one hand, in everyday use, the i7-10-510U shows no sign of slowing down. On the other hand, firmware management limits the full potential of this comic late processor, especially as the competition squeezes more out of their equivalent laptops. If you were in the market for a 15.6 inch business laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad E15, Dell Vostro 5590, Acer Travelmate P6, Asus ExpertBook P1. The HP ProBook 450 G7 takes the best from the G6 and adds a sprinkle of new features internally. The keyboard is good to type on, upgradability is ahead of the pack and generally it's well put together. Wi-Fi 6 is a welcome upgrade. The 10th gen Comic Lake processor is a slight disappointment and not much of a successor to the older Whiskey Lake CPU. The display is a slight disappointment too as HP should have opted for the 300 nits panel with better colour gamuts. In fairness, the ProBook 450G7 is on the budget business price range and they have left these goodies for their more expensive EliteBook cousins. All in all, if you need a decent business laptop that covers most things, it's a good buy. If you're thinking of upgrading your ProBook G6, think again before parting with your hard-earned cash. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ProBook 450G7 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.